Hey guys, well, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my first review of an SH Figure Arts. That's how I'm saying it. Uh, action figure. Just got my first two yesterday, and these things have blown my mind. Um, I got Obi Wan, as you see in front of you, who I'm going to be looking at today, and I got Darth Maul, so I'll be doing a video on him next. Um, like, it's, like I said, just absolutely mind blown with these things. They're fantastic. The accessories, the detail worth every dollar they are very expensive though for an action figure but yeah you gotta treat yourself sometimes and i don't usually spend a lot of money on high-end stuff so this to me is pretty high-end in terms of action figures so had to um also just quickly i just want to share my excitement for those of you who don't know don't follow me on um facebook and instagram and all that i'm coming to america next year i can't wait um me and my girlfriend have just booked our flights over to Orlando, coming over for Star Wars Celebration. We're going to do Disney World, Universal, and we're not sure what else we're going to do yet, but um, we've got plenty of time to figure it all out, and we're just going to have a big, big awesome holiday, and it's going to be great, and I can't wait to meet a ton of you guys over there. I really cannot wait. Um, beers will be had for sure. <laughs> I'm seriously excited that's probably one of the most things I'm excited about. Not just celebration, but meeting all, all of my friends from YouTube and on the internet and stuff that I've been, been friends with for years. So I cannot wait. Anyway, let's talk about this Obi-Wan because he is super cool. Let's have a, look, a quick look at the packaging. As you can see, it's, you know, it fits the figure in it. That's pretty, pretty standard, basic little packaging, but it's good. It does what it needs to. And they pack really well, like really... They're in like a, they've got a top bubble as well, so they're just really well sealed. They've got little plastic bits to stop scuffing and paint rubbing and anything you need. It just works out really well. It's obviously made by Bandai. But, um, yeah, pretty simple. Looks good. That's the packaging. Anyway, let's have a look at Obi-Wan. You can see he's awesome. Probably one of my favourite figures. Just the detail is incredible. Just the likeness is perfect. And you'd expect that sort of goodness out of a sideshow. And you get it. But on a six inch figure, this is just absolutely outstanding. Um, his hair's got a cool little gold wash to it. On both heads. Oh, by the way, he comes with two heads. And they both look really good. Easy to swap out. They just simply pop out. That simple. Now that I've got the camera rolling, it's going to be hard to put it back in. <laughs> nah, there we go. Um, he comes with four sets of hands. Yeah, four sets of hands. So he's got a gripping, like a lightsaber gripping hand on each each hand. He's got a force pushing hand like this one for left and right. He's got two fists, which are good. And he's also got a couple of other, um, I guess, force using hands. Before I drop them on the floor. But they're really easy to swap out. Um, the one I find I have a little bit of trouble with are the, are the actual lightsaber gripping hands. Because you can see the peg hole goes sort of up into the thumb at a weird angle. Um, and yeah, I just had a little bit of trouble. I'm just being really careful with these things because I paid a lot of money and I don't want to break them. But so far, they've been pretty resilient and and quite quite tough. But again, I wouldn't do anything too crazy with these guys just because of the price. But they're toys. They're made to be played with. It's my stance. I'll stand by it. But you know, like I said, it comes with his lightsaber. To get it out of the uh, gripping hand there, You've actually got to pop that little ball off the end of the hilt. I'm not going to do it on camera because it's a little bit fiddly and it's just going to take a long time to do. So well, it doesn't take a long time, but yeah, it's a little bit fiddly. So you've got to pop that out so the lightsaber then just slides cleanly out the top of his hand. And as you can see, the thumb is joined to the fingers. Same with the case as the other one, but also comes with Qui-Gon's lightsaber, which is really cool. So you can have him in that scene, so you can have Maul, you can give Maul his uh, chopped off lightsaber, 
But again, I'll show that more when I do Darth Maul. This is damn awesome though. And his Obi-Wan hilt. It uh, pegs onto his belt and it's a really nice snug tight fit that's not going anywhere. Amazing. Again, let's get some close-ups here. Just the face, just the lightness, just is fantastic. The sculpting on those, on the tunic there, and on the robes all the way around. Originally, I was a little turned off about the look of all the where all the joins and articulation is, but at the end of the day, they look. It still looks fantastic. And all the buckles and clips on the belt, just expertly painted. No sloppy paint apps here. Um, but again, it's what you get for the price. Fazbro put their figures up to eighty bucks each. <laughs> well, that's well. This is this was eighty bucks here in Australia. So if Hasbro were putting their figures up to eighty bucks, I'd expect good stuff like this too. So you get what you pay for. But the pants really nicely sculpted, and the boots as well. Superb articulation. I don't even know where to start. It's packed. Um, there's joints in the head, the neck moves, so you get a lot of up movement, a lot of down movement. The neck adds a lot of movement there. The torso, you get tons of movement. If you do too much, it will pop off. But, like I said, pretty resilient. Just amazing poses with this guy. So you've got some shoulder movement. You've got like a pivot in there to move the shoulder back and forth. You've got some elbows. Wrists flick up and down and around. Um, hips, knees, plenty of movement. Ankles, good movement. And feet, which is, which is just absolutely awesome. I've said awesome a lot, but <laughs> it's pretty much how I feel about it. But I definitely recommend these guys. This is just, if you can fit it into your collecting budget. Or if you're like me, you just say, what the hell, I'm going to spend, spend some money. <laughs> and then not be able to eat. <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't put myself under that much financial pressure. But I'm going to have to now if I want to save up for the rest of this holiday. So there is Obi-Wan. I can't wait to share Darth Maul. And just get him to stand. Well, there's a little bit more movement here, so it takes a little bit more time. And I'll try and do what I always do and just add a couple of shots at the end of the video. So stay tuned for them. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, visit 808toys.com.au. And we'll see you very soon. Stay tuned, guys. Catch you later.